run, 260 Mapunga Gal. Box one, they're ready. And away, she began only fairly. Fly right won the start out wide. There goes Windmill Hayes. He's burning to on the outside to get over, and he does. So Windmill Hayes crosses. Fly right the rails second to half away. Three lengths away to Bogey Bullet. Four lengths away then to stack the aces. Favourites a long way back, Mapunga Gal. Then Sally's girl, Rachel Zane and Hope's bow. Windmill Hayes does it well. A late surge is going to be Bogey Bullet coming on quickly. Then stack the aces. Windmill Hayes in front though. Windmill Hayes from Bogey Bullet. Third, probably stack the aces. Mapunga Gal only got warm the last little bit. It's in a photo for third. Uh, back behind them, midfield fly right from Sally's girl, Hope's bow. Rachel Zane times around 29.80 for Windmill Hayes. For the late male followers, Windmill Hayes gets the money. Gets the money, Windmill Hayes here. Number seven for Ken Gill. Three second bogey bullet. And stack the aces third. Number six, Lauren Harris. One fourth, Mapunga Gal. Seven three. Six and one. Yeah, seven, three, six and one here, Brownie. Windmill Hayes was the late mover on the fixed markets, was the late male. He likes a wide draw. He had the speed to get over outside the early leader fly right. He quickly put her away and he's pulled clear. Late surging finish by Bogey. Bullets got second and stacked the